Welcome back to RealVacantLand.com. This is Luke Smith. I've got another property for you. This one is in Izzard County, Arkansas. It's 0. 0.42 acres. I'm asking 549 bucks. Uh, it's this really cheap property. It's on a paved road. I believe there's a power line right there. Let me dig into it and check again, but I think there's a power line to this one. The main attribute about this one that I really like is that I believe it's got a view of the lake. So I think it's, it's kind of up a hill and there's a lake out front with a road you know road in the front and you're looking over the road and some trees down at the lake it's diamond lake in izzard county arkansas it's supposed to be really good bass fishing um let's pull it up let's jump into the website ruralvacantland.com let's take a look at this one it's uh 0.42 acres izzard county arkansas there's a buy it now button asking price 549 bucks we open this thing in a new tab we can see that um the checkout should be working it seems to be loading slow uh the subdivision is pine ridge taxes are like 23 24 dollars a year it's coming out of deed adventure so it's it's deed it's in deed adventures name right now I'll, I'll sign that over to you i'll do the paperwork pay the fees make sure the taxes are paid off and the you know make sure it's all paid up um i just see the elevations 841 here it's a little bit higher than some of the properties in the areas in the sevens so 841 there's different supplies around the area there's a bunch of different stores and and things there's uh um neighborhood regulations are on here so you can you can read the regulations and i thought i had this pulled up let me make sure this is pine ridge yeah so pine ridge i got pine ridge pulled up um so this is in izzard county arkansas and they're doing the locations of it and you know blah 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 talking about the neighborhood we want the restrictions restrictions um they want a sing single family dwelling per lot you know just one one home they don't want you to build a strip mall or something so you gotta get permission before you build it's you gotta get approval with uh your site plans and building plans have to be approved by the the neighborhood before you can build on the property three they're saying you can have a temporary structure dwelling temporary dwelling unit on the property while you're building for six months um dwelling unit must be a the dwelling unit okay well the home you know the actual home not the not what you're using to build the home to live in while you're building but the actual building it's got to be made of you know normal material like wood metal masonry stone masonite blah 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 um i don't want you to make it out of blue tarps uh each dwelling unit must have at least 1050 square foot of floor space including a carport with at least 850 square foot being heated so 200 you could have a 200 square foot of that 1050 is could be your you know, firewood storage, carport looking kind of thing. It doesn't have to be heated. Um, the 850 square foot of it's got to be like, you know, full on house, right? With, pro with proper plumbing. They want proper plumbing and um, they want you to be set back at least 15 foot from the neighbors and 30 foot from the street. And they don't want you to do any offensive trade or activity. It should not be carried out. You know, can't dump a bunch of trash. Um, you can't use one of these lots to like dump trash on or something. Um, no advertising sign of any kind may be placed or erected in any parcel. You can't put a sign out front that says, hey, this is where I fix cars or something. You know, you can tell people you fix cars, but you can't put a sign out front directing people in there. It's, it's residential. It's not meant to be commercial. And just the regular residential restrictions. So that is on the website. You can read about that and what you what what they they're looking for so you meet those restrictions they say okay go build what you want to build and you go build it the land is 549 bucks so let's look at the gps coordinates i got that here if you pull that up in your phone you get driving directions to the property if you pull it up in uh the computer you get a map like this so i'm turning it over to satellite taking a look this is on cook road and um let's see if we find the power line this looks like a power line here. It looks like it's clipped back enough that there might be a power line there. I don't know which way their power line's coming from. 
Uh, yeah, good. There's Street View. So let's see if I got the right area here. Do you guys see a power line? I don't see a power line. Maybe there isn't a power line to this one. I thought it would run down the road. Doesn't seem to be. Okay. So, you know, just woods. Neighbors probably have power. Let's see if we can see their power line. Okay, let's pull up from the intersection, see if we can see. Street View only covers so many areas. Come on, Street View. Because I think this is power line running down the side of the street here. Maybe they got a shot going over towards their property. Wow, that street looks small now. I thought it was clipped back and there's a power line in there. Maybe I'm just dreaming things, guys. I don't see a power line there either. It's kind of fuzzy. That's clearing up. Uh, maybe not. Maybe there isn't a power line there. So I don't know how that neighbor's getting power. You could go knock on the door and ask. Maybe it comes down this way. But you're not very far from them, so there's probably a way that the power company would string it the last little bit. Or you can do your own power system. Let's look at, uh, so here's the neighboring house and here's the lot. Let's see if we can blow this up. So here's the neighbor that's probably got power and here's the house. So you got like a lot in between. So you're not kitty corner with each other, but there's someone else's lots in between it looks like. Um, so what I really wanted to do is show you this lake. I mean, I think that's the, the cool thing about this property compared to other properties. So here's Diamond Lake, and this is up the hill. So I think you can look down the hill at Diamond Lake. Let's see if I can pull that up in a different view that allows us to do 3D. Now it's like, where did the uh, property go? It's right up here. It's supposed to be right there. Let's find it again, make sure. Let's see if Google comes around. Yeah, okay, so right there. So we're gonna go hold the control button down and Google Chrome, and that allows you to go 3D. So now we're here on this hill, and this would be if the house were built facing the street, you could look out over the street into this direction, and I think, I think you're gonna be looking at the lake. You're gonna be sitting there at the top of the hill, looking down at the lake. So maybe you get cut off by the hill over here, you probably get the whole lot of this. So I think you get a big lake view looking out over the whole area. And of course helicopters flying by when I'm trying to talk. But uh, I think that's the view, view of the property. It's a rectangle. Databases say 0.42 acres. You can kind of see the hill over here too. So it's on this hill looking down at the lake. That's kind of behind my head, huh? So it's on the hill looking down at the lake. Okay, so if you're interested in this land, you can go back to the website. I'll put the link below. You can click on that link, take you back to ruralvacantland.com. You can go take a tour of the property. You can research it. You can do whatever you want um, and buy it. I mean, buy it, go sit on it, picnic it, search it out, talk to the talk to neighborhood people about building what, you, what it is you want to build. Make sure it's okay. And, um, just go build it. They just want you to have the square footage, you know? Square footage and some normal supplies on the outside so it doesn't look like, I don't know what. They don't want you to build it out of glass bottles. I think glass bottles look nice. You get all kinds of colorful lights and it's cheap and just, you know, some classic spec mix and some sand and some glass bottles and you got a house, but they want you to build out of basic, normal, you know, standardized materials. You can do that, you can build here. And run with it get a cheap property to go for it on 549 bucks probably got a lake view with the hill looking down at the lake thanks for listening thanks for watching so luke smith at ruralvacantland.com see you in the next video